It's time now for another edition of our Student Athlete of the Week series. Ansley Brent joins us in studio to introduce us to Gulfport Admiral Volleyball star Izzy Barnes. Serve, block, kill, repeat. These are the words and actions that this week's student athlete lives by and does an absolutely outstanding job of doing it too. She truly looks the part of a true volleyball player, but it's her heart and work ethic that shine the brightest. Introducing to you our WXXV Student Athlete of the Week, Gulfport's middle hitter, Lindy Izzy Barnes. Student Athlete of the Week, brought to you by Performance Tire and Wheel. It's just, it's basically get up and terminate, basically, put the ball away. That was senior standout and Gulfport's middle hitter, Lindy Izzy Barnes. Looking at someone her size and the athletic ability she has at the net, you'd think she'd been playing volleyball since birth. Instead, it was her coach of another sport telling her to try it out just four years ago. The head coach, I was trying out for basketball, and he was like, you should definitely try volleyball. I had no idea what it was. I was like, yeah, this seems fun. Because my mom played it and my aunt played it. It was like, yeah, I should try it. Many people are glad she tried it, including second-year head coach Reese Fitzgerald. It makes me very confident when Izzy is on the court. As a lot of our hitters, I have a confidence in a lot of our hitters as well. Um, but Izzy's our offensive terminator, so anytime she's on the court, we look to find her the ball. Uh, she's a leader on the bench when she's not on the court also. An offensive terminator to say the very least. She currently leads the Admiral program in aces, kills, and kills per set. But she doesn't take all the credit just herself. She says none of it would be possible without her setter, Lily Trosclair. She's like the only setter I've ever had except for one year of club. She's been my setter for like all three years of my club and school career. So it's having that connection is just wonderful. It's like whenever you don't even have to talk, it's just there and it's beautiful. And Trost Claire isn't the only player Barnes has a strong connection with, but with the entire Gulfport team. She doesn't describe them as her teammates, but as her family. It's awesome. It's just... It's like, it's like a family. It's like they're all teammates, but at the same time, it's, it's your home. Like even when you get out of school, it's just like the best place to be. Izzy is what we call a gym rat. She wants to be in the gym 24 seven, whether it's in season or out of season. Um, she's constantly training to make improvements. She always wants feedback, um, not only from her coaches, but from her teammates as well. The time spent in the gym and feedback applied was more apparent than ever this July as Barnes was named the most outstanding South player during the MHC All-Star Game, where she had 12 kills and three blocks. It was, it was awesome. I really didn't expect it to get it because it was just a great group of girls and they were all just really inviting and it was just a great time. And I thought we all deserved it. It was just awesome. We all played good. Barnes still has time to shine in the postseason, but when she does hang up her blue and orange jersey, she hopes to leave a legacy at Gulfport and to play at the next level. I hope to leave behind like the effort. I feel like this year we have a lot of effort. We have a will to get better and just good attitudes, great mindsets. I would like to play in college somewhere, like in the future, going on a junior college than a four year. But there's no reason to wish her senior season away as she's currently preparing for her final postseason campaign. We wish her and the Admirals the best of luck as playoff star next week. Reporting live from where you live in Gulfport, I'm Ansley Brent, WXXV News 25.